Welcome to a virtual tour of the High Museum of Art's exhibition, Picture the Dream, the story of the civil rights movement through children's books. We're going to look at works of art today that focus on the civil rights movement, which is an important part of United States history. Today we'll talk about some tough issues around fairness and being kind to each other, but also about how you can make a difference in your own neighborhood and community. All of the works of art that you will see are part of books that you can check out at your local library or find online. Before we begin, please note that you can watch the entirety of this video at once, or you can break it into three parts. This video is structured like the exhibition. It is divided into three segments as shown on this slide. This video is part two, Rocks Are the Road or key events that happened during the Civil Rights Movement. All links can be found at hi.org under the Learn tab. Also, feel free to pause the video at any time to take a closer look. The discussion questions and activity prompts will be available after each slide. Last, be sure to check out our Family Discussion Guide and our Teacher Resource Guide for additional resources and information. In the part one video, we talked about what was happening before the civil rights movement really begun. Now we'll talk about what happened during the movement. We're only showing a little bit, so be sure to do some research at home or school to learn more. Let's get started. Although some laws had changed, everything was not equal. Black people and people who supported them peacefully protested to show that we all still had more work to do. In this work of art, we see a group of people with arms linked. They are walking or marching forward. A few of them are wearing colorful necklaces or leis, a traditional Hawaiian wreath made of flowers or leaves. In the center, we see Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Do you recognize him? He is the black man in the middle, wearing a colorful lei. Next to him is Abraham Joshua Heschel, with the white hair, white beard, and black glasses. Both men were civil rights activists. Remember what an activist is? That's someone who stands up for what they believe in, no matter how hard it may be. Dr. King was one of the most important people during the civil rights movement. He worked very hard for what was right and fair for all people. Sometimes marching is a very good way to help others know what is happening in your community or neighborhood that you believe to be unfair. Both Dr. King Jr. and Rabbi Heschel were doing just that. They both believed that all people, no matter their skin color, should have equal rights. Let's look at another work of art where people are marching in a peaceful protest. In this image, we see a large crowd of people walking. A couple of people are holding up United States of America flags and have their hands raised. They are walking on a brown hill and the sky above them is blue with clouds. The people in this work of art are marching for equal rights for all, just like in the last image with Dr. King. This peaceful protest was called the Selma to Montgomery March. Selma and Montgomery are two cities in the state of Alabama. Protesters marched for 54 miles from Selma to Montgomery to stand up for what was right. They wanted to show the world that black people still did not have equal rights, especially when it came to voting. It took them three days to reach Montgomery. They experienced racism. Very mean and hurtful things were done to those who were in the march. However, they kept marching until they reached Montgomery. The whole world watched this on television. In the same year, a law was passed to give all people the right to vote, no matter their skin color. Look at this photograph of the same march. Do you notice similarities? What's different? The artist who created the last work of art was inspired by photographs like this. Look closely at this image. What details do you notice? Because of heroes like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and many other activists, 
all people have the right to vote in all elections, even over 50 years later. Can you think of a hero in your life? Who is that person? What about something that you would march or peacefully protest for? What would it be? If you were to draw a picture of your hero or the thing for which you would protest, what would your drawing look like? After the video today, find a piece of paper and pencil and draw your favorite hero in your peaceful protest. Add color and details with crayons or colored pencils. Now let's take a quick break and go peek into the galleries again. Let's hit pause and focus on these questions. Let's take a look at the photograph of the same march. Do you notice similarities between the photograph and the painting? What's different? The artist who created the last work of art was inspired by photographs like this. Look closely at this image. What details do you notice? Can you think of a hero in your life? Who is that person? What about something that you would march or peacefully protest for? What would it be? If you were to draw a picture of your hero or the thing for which you would protest, what would your drawing look like? After the video today, find a piece of paper and pencil and draw your favorite hero in your peaceful protest. Add color and details with crayons or colored pencils. Do you recognize the image on the right? It's the Selma to Montgomery March. This is a photograph of the works of art in the Picture the Dream exhibition. Here is another image of people watching a video in the galleries. The video has interviews of activists and artists. Check it out on the HIE's website at HIE.org. Thank you for joining us in part two of the virtual tour of Picture the Dream. This is the end of part two. Please visit HIE.org to play part three.